with y'all come with Gunna is proving everyone wrong, man. I don't know if y'all been listening to Gunna, but Gunna has been on an insane run. He's been like featuring with um international artists. He he his album's been crazy. His last album he just dropped it, it's been on repeat. Listen, listen, I ain't gonna lie. When when he first supposedly snitched on um Young Thug, I ain't gonna lie. I was I was a little I was a little skeptical. I might like, I might not listen to this nigga no more. Listen, he did snitch on me. I'm just this bro. One of one, bro. If y'all ain't listen to one of one, y'all got to go listen to that song. That shit is a banger. Let's go ahead and get to to the video though. Welcome new people, new subscribers up. YouTube is just to say to be paying today. I'm back with another video, mm -hmm. and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about. Why Gunna might just be unstoppable. And this nigga again, but before I get into that, make sure you hit like, like, comment, and subscribe, do all those things. Nigga just doing a whole and I actually have a quick little story time surprise for you guys towards the end of this video, so I where talking. I just so happened to kind of run into Gunna, but it's not like he knew who I was. So like, don't get like super excited about this oh, yeah, story. Yeah. I'm just gonna add it on to the end of the video. The and you make sure you stick around to the end of the video for today's paid promo song of the day, which is. Oh, you know what? You know what be mind boggling me, bro. Everybody think Mama has met a goddamn uh, superstar, mega star. I know people who met Michael Jackson when they was little. They been to the concert. I'm like, nigga, who? How? How are y'all? Like, I feel like everybody has seen a famous person but me. Like, nigga, like, like the only time I see a famous nigga is on on TV. Like, what the fuck? But like, like, hey, it just might not be my time. Maybe, maybe God is protecting me from the bullshit. Who knows? On my soul by will. Gunna recently dropped his second album since his stint in jail for the whole YSL Rico case, that being uh, one of one. And this album pretty much seems to be a success on all fronts. Everyone seems to like it, and it's doing well numbers-wise. Arguably, this album is doing better than his first album that he dropped after coming home, which was a gift really? and a curse. Uh, this album, really? one of one, sold 91 k per week, the whole album. and it sold 57 k in its second week. And these are amazing numbers. I know it's not super high; it's not 200 k, 300 k, but these are really good numbers in an era where rappers just Man, look at this nigga fit as hell, bro. I, the aren't really fuck? selling that well. Streaming has kind of messed up the numbers and what they really mean. Um, but also he's doing this without a major hit song on this album. It's not like a gift and a curse where he had F You Mean, which was arguably the mm. song of the year what last year. He doesn't have this major yeah, smash hit that can kind of carry the numbers up. Right. This is all just people listening to the project for listening to the project. Maybe they have a certain specific song that they like the most, but still for the most part, this project isn't being carried by one song. And I think it's safe for us to say that nobody could have really predicted this level of success for Gunner. Now, that's not me saying that, like, that. We thought he would come home and, and be bad. Like, it's not like we expected his career to just be done after he came home. But I think it's pretty pretty clear that he's proven pretty much everyone wrong, even if you had the highest expectations for him coming out of jail. And, you know, Jeez. I don't really want to go there, but we got to talk about the elephant in the room, which is the whole YSL Rico case. Now, I'm not going to get into the politics of the whole gang stuff and did he snitch, did he not snitch, what is the actual... Diddy. I'm not going to get into like that. I'm going to stay in my lane because I'm good over here. What did he got to do That stuff, you can go watch, like, No Jumper for that if you want to see that type of content. But um, I'm going to stay in my lane, so whether he did it or not doesn't really mean anything to me. Whether that is snitching or not doesn't mean anything to me. But we can't deny that there hasn't been... God damn, bruh. Can't nobody enjoy the goddamn con it's like motherfucker. But okay, how do y'all feel about like going to like concerts, just any event, and niggas always have their damn phone out. Like y'all like I understand like a five like a five second clip, ten seconds, fifteen at the most. At the most fifteen seconds. But niggas who fucking record the whole goddamn concert, my nigga, and post on your snap and nigga, y'all y'all should be banned for phones. Y'all piss me off. Like niggas who like like I have seen people post their whole damn concert. Like nigga, did you even enjoy yourself, my nigga? Like nigga, it's like I was damn near there. Like like I seen every guy N niggas were like they'll be like, Oh y'all, this is an exclusive song, man. Somebody just like, damn. You know, that kind of stigma me that, that hasn't stuck to his name. Like, that's just the truth, okay? Whether that was actually snitching or it wasn't, that has Man, been attached on, to his fire. name. Now that's people call him snitch fans, other rappers. This isn't oh, no, just like a, a random thing on social media. No, this is a real thing. This is a real thing that people are attaching to Gunna. And it's not just the fans, like I said earlier. It's rappers as well. Major, big-time players in the rap industry. And honestly, some of Gunna's Ooh. frequent co collaborators before he went to jail. Names like Lil Baby. Names like Lil uh, Dirt. 
Sorry. Like names like uh, names like Future. All of these big time rappers who used to work with Gunna all the time have either directly or indirectly <laughs> taken a stance against him. Lil Baby with some lyrics that people are attributing to Gunna. I mean, uh, Lil Durk did an interview with academics right basically calling him uh, a snitch. He, he and then Future with the whole thing where he, well, I don't know if he future. posted it, but yeah, on, a, yeah. on his own Twitter, it was a link to the video of Offset and Gunna, the Prada Dem song, the music video, Prada and then it was quickly deleted and Future's team said he had nothing to do with that, he Damn. wasn't running his Twitter. Damn. And then in response to all this, Gunna, or not Gunna, Future doubled down on the fact that he wasn't really rocking with Gunna and Damn. posted uh, the snippet to his song Type Ish, which wasn't out at the time, but basically posted the hook where he says, I don't mess with rats, that's a new type. Like, mm. you know, basically doubling down on the he's not rocking with Gunna Center. Damn. So with all these factors in mind, I don't think anyone really could have predicted this amount of success for Gunna because when it comes- So like, like, what's the plan moving forward? So if y'all see this nigga in public, y'all not talking to this nigga or y'all gonna be his ass or like, like, what, what, like I'm just trying to understand the temperature. Cause like, like, is like some niggas supposedly have snitched at other camps and y'all let that shit slide. So why is y'all not letting Gunna slide? And like, if, 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 I guess we got favorites. I don't know. I'm not in the rap game. I'm not even in the streets. So who, who am I to even speak on this subject? Let me continue forward. Let's go ahead and continue. Comes to rap, uh, you can get away with pretty much anything, but there's a few things, really one, Thing that really is like a career killer or at least was known as a career killer and that was snitching allegations right. if people could prove that you snitched it was pretty much over okay in rap you can kill him, somebody you can force right yourself here. on one you can force yourself She's on someone crazy. you can do all types of crazy stuff in rap but as soon as Thanks you get that, that snitch nigga, yeah. attached to your name whether true or not again i don't know whether true or not that's pretty much a rap like it's been pretty much a rap but recently in more modern times Fans have started to care less and less about that. Most fans really don't care what their rapper does personally and if they snitch it. Most, most regular fans are like, whatever, right? And so we've seen that, but even still with that, it's just, it's just an amazing what Gun has been able to do. Um, and it really just proves that good music trumps all in this situation. Good music trumps all. Nobody really doubted that Gunna could make good music coming home. We all knew the level of artist that Gunna was. But still to see the support is quite shocking. Because mm. nobody really looked at Gunna as like this dangerous street dude, bloodthirsty, you know, rapper like they do like a Lil Durk oh, or an NBA Youngboy. But still, people looked at him as a street dude. You know, he has that some ties that he claims, you know, he was around time, YSL. Bro. So Somebody it wasn't like people just nigga. didn't have that expectation Please. of him like being like that, as they say, I guess. But, you know, they didn't look at Gunna like an NBA Youngboy, to put it in decent wording. True. So still, there was an expectation of this whole incident kind of dampening Gunna's career, but that really hasn't happened yet to this point. Maybe it'll come down the line, maybe hey, some things play out differently, but right for the most part, these accusations and this stigma being attached to Gunna really hasn't hurt him that much yet. Now, I knew that coming out of jail, if Gunna continued to drop music, he would still have his hey, fan base. Like, I didn't expect like, him to lose a fan like, base and no I longer have a features. career. I just didn't expect all this. To go back to his numbers again, he just sold 91K first week and 57K second week. That means people are actively listening to the album. That doesn't mean that, you know, he popped out with an album, he's a big name, oh, okay, 100K first week, next week, 25K. Because that's mm. what tends to happen for a lot of rappers, you know, uh, people get excited about the first week, then after they listen to the album, they're like, all right, what's next? They don't really stick around, but for his numbers to not even really half in the second week, that shows that people are still very interested in this album. It shows that there's something there, there's quality, there's something to hold on to there, and a lot of people can't say that in rap right now. I have to go check it Just out last year, If You Mean was the biggest song of the year, I know I said that earlier, Fuck but again, we're establishing this crazy level of success. It was like a top five billboard hit. Right now, he's currently on tour. Everything that Gunna is doing right now is just breaking, it's just breaking these boundaries, right? These borders, these glass ceilings that people were putting on him when it comes to his success. Because when he first came out, it was like, oh man, Gunna's not gonna be able to drop any music, all right? Nobody's gonna be listening to Gunna. Then he drops some music and people are like, oh, okay, you know, people are supporting him. Okay, well, he's not gonna do well on an album. Like his album numbers are gonna be trash. He, no, nobody's listening to his album, okay. He drops a gift curse. What? Damn, okay, people really are listening to Gunna. Okay, he sold like 80K or something like that. Damn, okay, mm. people are listening to Gunna. Well, he's never gonna have his song again. Nobody's really gonna be bumping him in the Fuck clubs me. and all that. They're, they're not playing no Gunna no more. F You Mean shoots up to be one of the biggest songs of the year. They're like, oh, okay. Well, he can't do show. By himself, no features, but no, by himself. The whole album, by himself. Nigga, slid. Nigga, 
slide like like an ice cube. Like it just slide across that motherfucker. I think that shit was crazy. Ain't gonna lie, like I didn't, there was not too many songs that I disliked on that. Um, damn, what was that shit called? The the album before this one. It, it was like I don't fucking know. Y'all know what I'm talking about. He knows. He he can't do a show. I know gonna he's not gonna be able to do a show. Nobody's rocking with Gunner at like he that. Got the quality. And then he does two shows, one in LA mm -hmm. and one in New York for the uh, Gift and the Curse like performances. Oh, that's what they call Gift and Curse. It's like, damn, okay, he did. He just did shows. Well, I got you. This one he can't do. I know he. Can't he's definitely tour. not gonna be able to go on tour. Mm -hmm. but he's not gonna be able to go on a tour in America. Fans ain't rocking with him like that. It might be dangerous. Who knows? He can't really pop outside like that. Gunner's like, Gunna, like, no, bro. Gunner's not doing it. Nigga. Who's stopping him? He's on a world or not a worldwide. He's on a United States tour right now. Including Atlanta for the people who are asking. So pretty much at every Big turn, flex, Gunna is proving people wrong. Every single time he does something, Big he's flex. proving another large group of people wrong who are making predictions about what he just showing that niggas don't really necessarily care if you a snitch if you're popular, man. If you one of those and you like putting work in, niggas don't really give a fuck. I don't he could do once he got out <laughs> of jail, including really myself. I don't shit. want to leave myself out because I didn't expect this. This seem like the only thing that Gunner really has lost has been like those industry ties that he had where he was in that bubble of rappers that are always constantly like recycling features to each other. There was a point in time in rap where Gunna was on every mainstream album that came out. He was a feature somewhere on there and he's lost that, you know, that bubble of 21 Savage, Lil Durk, Travis Scott, Young Thug, uh, Lil Baby, that, that bubble of, of rappers. He's been kind of ostracized from that group, but honestly, I don't even think that's a bad thing at this point. I think that that group of rappers, not necessarily all of them, but like that bubble, kinda so to speak, up. has gotten a little bit stale. Fans are kind of tired of it. So him not being included in all that, what? honestly, might be a good thing. It might have been like something this. that was actually what? for the like better for him to not consistently be on every single person's project every single time. Every single time it came out. But as of right now, he is getting features still. Now he's not getting a whole bunch of features. He's not getting a whole bunch of rap features, but he's still getting some decent rap really. features. He just did a song with Offset on Prada Dem, which honestly shocked me. Offset was like, you know, he's seen like as like a street rapper and you know, the whole thing. Again, I'm I'm staying out of the snitching thing and did he do it, did he not? I'm I'm staying out of it. But still like it, there's obviously been an effort from all of these rappers to kind of stay away from Gunna. So to see Offset do a song with him was really interesting. And nobody really gave him any backlash. So mm. I don't know. He also did a song with Roddy Rich on his newest project. So still, some of these really? street rappers are, are working with Gunna. It's not like they're all like hands off. Oh, my God. You know, it still seems pretty cloudy in terms of the situation mm. at the moment. And Gunna's just continuing to get hotter and hotter. So... Rappers are going to go get features from him. I know people are like, ah, oh, nah, you got to do this. You got to do that. It's a certain image. When money starts talking, money starts talking, okay? Nice. And Gunna's is going to be increasingly hotter and getting increasingly hotter over time. And people are going to start knocking down his door for features again because Gunna's is a great feature artist. He's really good at hooks. He's really good with the melodies and stuff. They're going to be knocking down his door. I called Gunna unstoppable for the sake of this video pretty much just because of how much success he's having despite having this tied to his name. Whether he did it or not, I'm going to say it again for all the people in the back who didn't hear me the first eight times. Whether that's actually... Okay. So, if we saying gonna snitch, right? Don't that mean everybody who copped the plea snitch? Like, like if we just doing that, I'm just saying, like, if we saying gonna snitch, that mean everybody in YSL case who, like... They didn't, didn't even take the stand. He doesn't even. He don't even. He don't even have to take the stand. He didn't say this nigga did it. That don't. He ain't said shit. So to me, he ain't snitch. Y'all let me know down below if y'all believe gonna snitch. But I dead ass don't believe that. See how it works or not. He's still having massive amounts of success. And if that can't take you down, if that thing being tied to your name can't take you down in rap, nothing can. True. Nothing. Okay. Well, now obviously, if he just starts dropping trash no, music, okay, no. then he'll probably fall off. But. Gunna makes music that's the so same good. Thing that, um, Nothing K Kendrick said that Drake doing. If, if if that's true about you, my guy, you're getting taken down. Thing that he does outside of the studio is going to affect his numbers or anything of the sort. His career, as long as he keeps doing what he's capable of doing and making the music that he's capable of making, it does not matter what happens outside of that studio. But really speaking of the features, Gun has been doing really well without them. See? He didn't have any features on A Gift and a Curse. And I think he has about five on one of one, but like only two of them are rappers. So for the mm. most part, 
it's not like he needs these features. He's doing fine without them. But in terms of features, I would like to see him step more into the feature world in terms of giving them and taking features as well. Um, but maybe more so on the pop and R and B side right of things. Here. If you know, I mean, rappers are gonna start knocking down his door eventually. But like in terms of like really bossing up, I could see Gunna working really well with pop stars and R and B stars because again, he has a nice flow. He's got very nice you know vocal work. He really makes great hooks and melodies. So I think he could really work well mm -hmm. in that pop and R and B space and kind of get out of he that trap level up, just yeah, a little bit. I'm not saying leave rap, but you understand what I'm saying. I could see him working with people like Brent Fiez and Summer Walker and Bryson Tiller and artists like. Gonna with Brent Fias? Maybe Summer Walker? Maybe? Kind of. If he does. Maybe. Maybe. I, I kinda see it, but it's very. I, 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 it's, I gotta really squint my eyes to really see that. I could kinda see it. It's like that. Maybe they don't it. wanna work with it. I don't know, but like, what you see hell? the vision I'm going for, even on the pop side, I, I would love to see Gunna work with Billie Eilish. Maybe that's a little bit too far of a reach. I don't know. You know, Billie Eilish likes rap. She's kind of tapped in yeah, a little bit. It. So maybe he could say I like, oh, it. I, I want to collab with Billie Eilish in an interview. Like as like one of his dream collabs and that could work. Because mm -hmm. I can see him really tapping into somebody like that on the pop side of things and being really successful there. But overall, I think Gunn is really about to boss up or he could boss up in terms of spreading his wings a little bit, not just outside of the trap bubble that he was in for the last like five years, but mm. rap kind of as well. And, you know, flirting with some features here and there outside of the genre and bringing them kind of back to his own music. And just to kind of wrap things up on the Gunna front, it seems that the fans have taken a side as well. And I don't just mean musically, I mean in terms of the narrative, right? Fans are backing Gunna because the mm. narrative has mm. been you know, the industry versus Gunna, kind of, right? It, it seems that there's a very clear effort to kind of push down Gunna whenever he's trying to do anything. He dropped his album, A Gift of Curse, and the whole industry started posting links to a Countdown to Young Thug's album. It was kind of weird. It was kind of strange. But Gunna joined okay. in and posted it as well, yeah, so I don't know how that whole situation yeah, was just weird. But it's it feels funny. like there's an effort from the industry to kind of silence Gunna and whatever he's doing. And people don't like that. People don't like the industry. People want to root for the underdog. And the underdog, just in this case, also happens to make extremely good music. So now they're really rooting for him. And they really want to see him succeed. And, you know, Lil Baby he's kind of taking the face of the antagonist of this story and little yeah. gun is the protagonist in this case wow. but yeah overall yeah, unless he starts dropping trash music not only does he have fans on his side musically but he has them on their on his side in terms of the story in terms of the mm. narrative so just with all the success that he's had recently i no longer doubt gunna okay he can do anything he can sell 200k he might who knows right i, I don't know he might continue to go up and become the biggest star. i don't know i'm not putting a ceiling on gunna anymore because i thought that that whole thing being associated with him was really going to dampen what he was doing i knew he would still have a good career still have fans still do shows and stuff but i didn't expect it to be anywhere near what he's doing right now and now i get to the little story time thing that i was promising oh, yeah. to tell you guys about you so a quick little story time it. Gunna just had a show in Phoenix, Arizona the other day. I'm from Phoenix. Well, I'm not from Phoenix, but I'm from Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona, close enough, right? Um, Y'all don't really know Arizona like that, probably. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm from Arizona. So I didn't plan on going to the show. I honestly didn't know he was out here until the day before his show. Um, But I feel like I'm doxing myself by saying this. I I'm not, but like, let's just say this. Um, My dad knows some people. My dad, he's... He, uh -huh. He's a barber. He's a barber. I don't want. I don't know. This is just weird. It's oh, weird. I don't like saying too much personal stuff. But he's a barber, and he ended up giving a cut to one of uh, Gunna's tour managers. I think his tour, his oh, main tour manager, and his name is JP. Connects. And so JP was like, "Oh, you know, I got some tickets to the Gunna thing. Like, we can get you, you in if you want to go." And my dad's like, "I don't really, you know." So he's like, "Oh, I got a son though, and he makes content, and he would probably want to go. He likes Gunna, and so the dude hooks me up or whatever." And you and I get to go to the Gunna concert in the VIP thing and go to the meet and greet thing and everything like that. So I'll just give you a quick rundown. Me and my girl, we, we drive out there. We go to the, the, this is before, never mind. Just forget that. I was about to say some more information, but no. Uh, we drive oh, out no. there. We go to the little arena and we enter through the back. I meet his manager, JP. Super cool dude. Super what? nice guy. Really appreciate everything that he did. We go through the back and we go and we're like one of the last people in the meet and greet area. And so... Uh, he, Gun is just standing there behind this little background picture. I'm sure I have like the pictures or videos up there for you. Um, but he's just kind of standing in this background thing. 
and the security's like, all right, you guys can take a picture. And he like pushes my my girlfriend up there. And then I'm like, oh, I want to go up there. And then the security guy's like, hold on, hold on, hold on. You hating ass nigga. If my girl go up there, nigga, hell no. And then <laughs> she takes a picture with him. And then the other guy's like, nah, let him go, let him go. And then I go to walk up there. And the security's like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like they were being real thorough. Like, you know, you ain't just going to walk up on Gunna. Like, nah, bro. Major, major, and so major, major, they major, finally right. let me go up there. We take a picture with Gunna. I shake his hand. And uh, that was it. It was literally like a two second experience. It was all. really weird. Really, really weird. Like the whole meet and greet thing. Like it was just so quick. It was just like, oh, hey, shook his hand, turned, took a picture, walked away. I don't know. The whole thing was weird. But then I ended up talking to uh, another person who was working there. Her name was Chrissy. And um, Chrissy she was really cool. She was really cool. She showed me where to go. She gave BC, me like BC. some VIP stuff. They had like shirts, okay. um, a VIP pass. They Shit, hard as fuck. That shit hard as fuck. Had a bandana type of thing. Um, and then we didn't really have like a, we didn't have tickets. Like we were so last minute in terms of VIP, we didn't have tickets. So we're walking over to the VIP booth and she's like, oh, what's your name? The lady's like, oh, what's your name? And I tell her my name. And she's like, oh, well, we don't see you. And she's like, well, who did you come with? And I'm like, oh, I'm with JP, the tour manager. She's like, oh, my. You're JP's guest? Oh, okay, don't don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. And then they give us the little Polaroid picture and we sit there waiting for like an hour. I buy another Shout t-shirt. Out to Christy, man. I, I I bought a t-shirt and I bought my girlfriend a t-shirt. So we, you know, got some little merch while we were waiting for the show. And then by the time the show uh, starts, we don't have tickets still. Like we're just VIP. We're just kind of roaming. We have the VIP wristband, but we don't have tickets. So um I just like I'm just like, all right, let's just go down to the pit. Let's go to the pit. There's no seating, so we can just kind of walk down there. And, you know, they're not really going to say too much. So I walk down to the pit and the lady's checking my wristband. And she's like, oh, well, this is just the meet and greet wristband. This doesn't have like, you know, the, the general admission, the, the pit uh, wristband thing. Yeah. And so another guy walks up to her, another security guard. He's like, nah, let them in. They're JP's guests. Like, don't even worry about it. Y'all just go in there and go have a good time. So that's what we did. We went down. Man, shout out to my nigga JP. Man, man, man what the fuck? Man, these some real ass niggas. They're uh, going to perform. And he's actually a much better performer than I thought. Like, he's a very good live performer. Um, his mic was live the entire time. He had some really interesting things going on with his set. He had, like, this abominable snowman thing that popped out of the stage, and it was raining. Like, it was supposed to be snow, but it was, like, soap. It was raining soap on us, and the whole set was crazy. He had this big statue of his head. It was really cool. Like, it was a really cool performance, really cool show. Gunna did his thing. Flo Millie was there as well. Flo Millie killed it. I love Flo Millie. So, yeah, overall, really good show. Really appreciate all those guys who helped me out and helped me get to the VIP and do all that stuff. But, yeah, enjoyed the show, and it felt really cool to be VIP and all that stuff. It felt really special. Um, it didn't have anything to do with them knowing my channel or anything like that, so I, I couldn't get too excited. But, yeah, it was just nice to, to be in there and get to experience the VIP and the meet and greet and all that stuff. So, yeah, it was really cool. Um, and I think that's it for this little miniature story time. Um, but if you made it this far, I greatly appreciate it. Like, seriously, no, I seriously I do. Have a good what? day. Be safe. Be blessed. And make sure you stick around for the end of this video for the paid promo song of the day. Peace. Man, shout out to my guy. Like, every time I've reacted to you, which is the second time, bro, you have been killing it. I love the information. Your storytelling is off the chart. Like, it felt like when you were telling me that you met Gunna, I was, I was there with you, my nigga. Hey, shout out to you, my guy. I hope your channel blows the fuck up. Like, you deserve it. Um, one th Now I'm going to Gunna. Um, one thing I can say about Gunna, man, that boy just don't stop it. As long as he, like, not rushing to drop music, he takes his time, really perfects his art, and just really, like, back against the wall. Because that's really what it is right now. Like, everybody's against him. Like, as long as he just locks in and just try to create different types of music. Like he said, if he try to branch this out, go to R and B or if he was just um just trying to rap and just keep it just strict strictly trap, he he could go crazy. But y'all let me know y'all thoughts and opinions down below. I love y'all. Stay safe and I'll see y'all next video. We out. Ugh.